Lord have mercy, bold and sinuous tones coming out of this Epiphone Casino, ladies and gentlemen. I've played a few of these before. I got to say, this latest incarnation is just really quite dialed in and sexy. Plays great, sounds great, resonates great unplugged. Of course, it looks like the classic John Lennon-y type of device, but I also think of a certain Grant Green when I think of this type of guitar as well. It's got the reflector knobs, which I just think are the sexiest thing ever. I would play a plank of wood as long as it had reflector knobs on it. You know what I'm saying? Is that a wrong thing to say? I don't think so. These guitars are fully hollow, so they have a very cool tone that can be used, obviously, in rock and roll, but it's also a good little jazz axe, blues guitar. It's, it, you know, what's cool about them, too, is that you can kind of control when they start feeding back and go, hey, 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 hey. It's really cool. You see that song right there? It makes your jaw go crazy as well, which is an added feature, no extra charge. They're available in a couple of delicious hues. You got your vintage sunburst and, of course, the natural. If you'll recall, John Lennon's was natural. And then one day, in kind of an altered state, apparently he was experimenting with some vitamins, he grabbed a little uh, sandpaper and went crazy and went natural. So now it's kind of a popular hue. Right, kids? Right? Don't try it at home. Laminated maple top and body. Mahogany neck. Slim taper neck profile. It is quite slim. It's uh, not minuscule, but there's something to grab onto there. But if you're worried about a guitar being too, having a neck that's too big for you, don't have to worry about it on this one, okay? Let's just be clear. Rosewood fingerboard. Check. And then we have two Alnico 5 P90s designed by Gibson USA using all pro quality components as well. That's important. So it's not like they're, you know, overseas, they're using like chewing gum and, uh, and things like that to underneath, uh, you know, where you can't see stuff like they're, you know, it's all professional quality accoutrement. And those pickups are designed and have components that are made in USA. Freedom! So when you play this guitar, you can feel the power of the great nation of the United States of that of America. Chrome hardware. The chrome they get is actually from Mordor, so we can't really say freedom because Mordor was kind of a place of oppression and the Dark Lord. Uh, actually, it doesn't come from Mordor because Mordor doesn't exist. Okay, it's just chrome hardware. Tunematic bridge with trapeze tailpiece. Ah! Very wicked sounding. Uh, so uh, it's basically a glorious, always new and improved. They're always niching it, notching it, niching it, notching it. I'm going up to the ceiling here. Great sounding guitar, playing guitar. You just heard the neck pickup, uh, which I had a good time playing. Very resonant, sounds glorious. Let's go to both pickups together and see what kind of jangalicious delights we might be able to get involved with. Stand clear, stand firm. <laughs> Let's go to Mr. Bridge pickup, see what we got going on here.
Sorry about that. Sometimes I lose it. These extemporaneous jams, actually I got that all tabbed out. I was reading off a piece of paper over here and hit the wrong G chord there in a minute. And it was all part of the plan, rest assured. Greg Koch here, Wildwood Guitars, with this glorious Epiphone Casino. Here in the shadow of the great Rocky Mountains, I bring to you this glorious beast. Take and feast at your discretion. See you cats later. <laughs>